Hello, Southwest community, and welcome back to another World Tanks console video. So, in this video, I'm going to be listing the top 10 best media, uh, top 10 best premium tanks of Era 2, from worst to best, and top 10. So, also, if you end up liking this very good turret, consider subscribing because it's free and it helps out the channel a ton. So, let's just start off with the number 10 spot. Now, the number 10 spot I don't actually own, but I played it when it first came out. It's the Leopard VT2. So the Leopard VT2 has a 50.42% win ratio with a battle count of 264,987 battles. Also, I'm including battles because that's really nice to know. And I'm getting these stats from Lot Stars. So yeah, let's talk about the Leopard VT2. It has pretty good armor. It, it, it kind of plays like a heavy tank, but it's classified as a medium tank. It's got a big gun doing 510 damage per shot with high penetration 418 on its standard and 504 on its premium. 9 degrees of gun depression and its mobility is pretty good for Arrow 2. It's 65 forward and 28 reverse. And yeah, VT2 is all about the armor and that gun. So let's move on to the number 9th spot, which is the Bandit. So this tank has. A 50.69% win ratio with a battle count of 67,917. Now, a lot of y'all should have got this tank because this is currently the season reward tank. Well, of the previous season. It has okay armor, but the gun is where the gun and the mobility is where this tank comes into its own. With its mobility of 71 forward and 32 reverse. And its gun at 550 damage per shot for a medium tank is really good. That's pretty much a heavy tank gun on a medium tank. That's fast with okay armor. Its CPM is 3,366 with penetration of 402 and 420 on its premium. With 6 degrees of gun depression, you're not going to be fighting bridge lines, bridge lines anytime soon. And yeah, decently armor, fast. And it has a really good gun for a medium tank. So let's move on to the number 8 spot. Now, speaking of a really good gun and mobility, the Chieftain Hybrid 120. Don't actually own this tank anymore. I used to. This tank has a 50.91% win ratio with 142,362 battles played in it. This tank is all about the mobility and the gun. It is a very... It, this is a heavy tank. It goes 65 board with a uh, reverse speed of 24 with a power of wear ratio of 22.24. You just suit this thing up with mobility and you use that gun. And it's a really good gun. It has a 3,975 da damage per minute with 530 damage per shot. With its penetration is 4 uh, 418 and 483 on its premium. And it has hash rounds, well, high explosive rounds, that do 680 damage per shot with a penetration of 290, which is definitely going to be punching through a lot of stuff. And its base reload is 8 seconds, so 8 seconds to do 680 damage, really good. And you have 10 degrees of gun depression, and you have the mobility to match it. The hybrid 120 is just a really fun heavy tank. And I can't believe this is actually classified as a heavy tank. Interesting. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to the next spot, which is the number seven spot. Now, this is the Armadillo. The fit, it has a 50.93% win ratio with a 706,623 battles. And yes, even after getting nerfed to Oblivion, Oblivion, this tank is still in the top 10 best premium tanks of Era 2. After getting its reload nerf, uh, its DPM nerf, its interclip, re interclip nerf, its aim time nerf, its a lot of stuff nerf, it still is one of the best. With its really big clip of 16 shots per clip, it goes and it does 90, dam 90 damage per shot with a penetration of 182 at standard and 228 on its premium, which is very lacking for Arrow 2. But it also has mobility of 82.54 and a reverse speed of 38, which makes this the fastest base top speed of any tank in the game. But it, 
but it is not the fastest tank in the game. The one FB-107 is the fastest tank in the game. Apparently, there's a speed limit on this tank. You cannot go faster than 100 in this tank. No matter what you put on it, you cannot go faster than 100. In the FB-107, you can go 105. Also, this thing has a little bit of armor for a light tank. And it can bounce shots. So, it's very fast, it's very small, it has a really good concealment, and it has a pretty powerful gun if it's managed to penetrate. Now, we move on to the number 6 spine, which is the WZ-122 with a 51% 51.21% win ratio, 670,903 battles played in this tank. And this is one of the first multi-weapon systems of Arrow 2. This tank gets a powerful 120 120mm gun that does 470 damage per shot with DPM 3,440, penetration 372, on its standard 440 on its premium. But it also gets four it also gets a auto-loading ATGM launcher, which is pretty powerful, and it also has one of the fastest interclip reloads of any ATGMs in the game. It has a 10-second interclip reload for its ATGMs. Its ATGMs do 850 damage per shot with a penetration of 460, and it reloads in 38 seconds. This tank has decent mobility of 55 forward and 22 reverse. And yeah and okay armor to boats. So now we move on to the number five spot, which is the T-55 Enigma. This is, has a 51.53% uh, win ratio with 822,404 battles play, which is the second most played tank on this list. And so the T-55 Enigma has a whole bunch of armor at the front end upper sides armor so it gives it pretty good armor unless you're shooting at the gun mount of this tank and if you're shooting at the gun mount of this tank it gets penetrated quite easily the gun's okay at doing 440 damage per shot doing a 3500 dpm penetration is okay at 350 and 405 once premium and it's 58 forward with 23 reverse speed with a terrible power to weight ratio of 14.36. Gun diversion sucks at 5 degrees, but this tank is all about the armor of the tank. Not about the mobility or the gun. It's just about the armor, but the mobility and the gun does help out this tank a lot. Now, we're going to move on to the number 4 spot. Which the number 4 spot is going to surprise a lot of people. The, mar the number 4 spot is the FV4 to 11 has a 51% of 51.98% win ratio, and this is by far the most played premium tank on this list, with 3,203,594 battles. So yeah, no real introduction of the FV4211 here. It's all about the armor. It also has a really, really good gun. Doing 440 damage per shot with a DPM 3500. Its penetration is 361 on its standard and 479 on its premium. I mean, 483 on its premium and 290 millimeters of high explosive penetration doing 605 damage. It's pretty slow at 48 forward at 16 reverse for an era for a Cold War tank. And it has 9 degrees of gun depression, but it's all about the armor. The armor and the gun is what makes tank. So yeah. Now we move on to the number three spot, which is the Pharaoh's Fury. Barely squeaking into the number three spot with a 51.99% win ratio with 11,891 battles played. This tank has pretty good armor. Also, I do not own this tank. This tank has pretty good armor at 230 millimeters of armor at the front pretty dang angled so this tank is all about the armor and it also has a really good mobility at 69 forward and 27 reverse so armor and it's got that amazing top speed and it's done it's gun is okay at 460 damage per shot which is pretty average for era 2 so we're going to move on to the second best era 2 premium tank 
which is the Ignis Progaccio, with a 52.60% win ratio with 305,904 battles played into this tank. This tank gets a very deadly gun if it can penetrate. It gets a, oh, I don't know what the caliber of this gun is. Huh, it is insane. Anyway, it does 150 damage per shot with 20 shells in the clip, which is a lot, which basically is doing 3000 damage per clip with a gun depression six degrees, gun elevation is 11 degrees, which pretty sucks. And our clip reload is 0.5 seconds, so you can unload very, very fast. Penetration is 280 on standard, 360 on its premium, and reload time is 37 seconds. If that's not good enough, you still have a multi-weapon system giving you the AT gems, which reloads in 29 seconds, but all but only does one AT gem. You only carry 10 AT gems and 700 damage per shot, 600 millimeters of penetration. Also, the mobility is really good on this tank. It's 65 forward, 23 reverse, with a power to weight ratio of 39.33. And the concealment is decent. So, mobility, the gun, and the camo makes this tank very, a uh, very much an ambush tank. And it's very much fun to be an ambush tank in this tank. So, let's move on to the number one spot, which is the ammo lad. At 52.87% win ratio, with a 13,387 battles played in this tank. Now, I currently do not own this tank anymore. Not because I sold any of these tanks. It's just because I don't have the rental of the tanks anymore. So, yeah, this tank is all about... It has... It's a Centurion hull with the... Um, T72 turret with a Chief Mark 6 gun. So it's a pretty powerful gun. Doing 530 damage per shot. A DPM of 3,742. And it has that 290 millimeters of penetration on its high explosive. But 6 degrees is a gun depression. Does let this tank down. And it's pretty fast at 69 kilometers per hour. Forward and 35 reverse. And yeah. Also... I do have a video, you can go watch the video I put out on this tank, if you want to go watch it, it'd be on screen right now, and also if you like this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and that's it for this video.